Vancouver has been ranked the third most unaffordable city recently. Vancouver has been ranked as the world's third most unaffordable city, following Hong Kong and Sydney, in a recent report by the American firm Demographia. The city's housing market has become increasingly unattainable for local income earners, sparking debate on potential solutions. Three new books released by CBC journalist Gregor Craigie, UBC professor Patrick Condon, and historian Michael Kluckner offer insights into the issue. Factors contributing to Vancouver's high housing prices include land speculation, soaring prices, and displacement. Mr. Kluckner highlights that it would take a median income Vancouverite nearly 30 years to save for a down payment on a house. Professor Condon points to high urban land value and the monopolization of urban land as key factors driving up prices. Mr. Craigie draws inspiration from the successful intervention of the French government in the Paris region, where policies led to the construction of hundreds of thousands of new homes, including affordable housing options. Lessons from the French approach could be applied in Vancouver to address the housing crisis effectively. Efforts to improve affordability in Vancouver include suggestions such as federally funded public housing, retention of publicly owned land, protection of existing affordable housing, and an end to single-family zoning. With the right policies and initiatives, Vancouver has the potential to regain affordability and provide housing for its residents. Summary Vancouver has been named the world's third most unaffordable city, sparking debate on solutions to the city's housing crisis. Three new books by CBC journalist Gregor Craigie, UBC professor Patrick Condon, and historian Michael Kluckner offer insights into the issue, citing factors such as land speculation and high urban land value driving up prices. Kluckner notes that it would take nearly 30 years for a median income Vancouverite to save for a house down payment. Craigie suggests looking to the French government's successful housing intervention as a model for Vancouver, with proposals including federally funded public housing and an end to single-family zoning. Efforts to improve affordability in Vancouver could lead to a more sustainable housing market for residents.